Then you'll be flying in my bed. Yes, and uh, me and my wife, about three o'clock in the morning, I got raised from my bed. The Lord calling me again. He says, Ali, he said, you've got to get rid of your stuff. I said, what stuff's that, my Lord? He said, your stuff. I said, it's my Masonic stuff. He said, yes, you can't sit in two worlds. He says, you're either in one or the other. I said, right, my Lord. I said, I've got four doors. I said, can I give it to you? I'll each, each of the Masonic to my lassies. He says, you've got to get it in. He said, it's only stuff. So that morning, I don't know if you've seen in my video, I bought them. I posted my video. I put my fire on in my shed. And I got my aprons. All my aprons, all my stuff, all my Masonic stuff. And I bumped it. And I cast the old mother regalia. But I had to me. I threw it into the, into the trees. And I thank the Lord Jesus. I'm not kidding you. That he's come to me. Come to me. But after that, as you say, you get hit with the trials. And I get hit with a bad trial. I never attended my church two or three times. I never never looked upon nobody. I was arguing with my wife, arguing with my kids. Selling this, selling that. To be honest, didn't know what didn't know what I was doing. And that's a God's honest truth. And I was at my, my, my work with one day with my, my men and they were working away. And I just jumped in my horse. And the boy said to me, he said, where are you going? I said, there's money. I said, get yourselves a taxi or get yourselves a, a train back or whatever you want, a bus or what. Just get yourselves home when you finish the, the job. And I left at one o'clock and I went to the mission in Perth. I know the boys was there and the boys are known and they're cracking away the boys and we be we be testimony, you know. And me, Alistair Fowler, pastor, good friend of me, he said to me, Alec, he said, you need to speak it out. And he caught me with a hand and he put me up as I'm doing it now. And I spoke my, how I felt. And see, after that, I'm not kidding you. I was like, I was just a weight. A burden on my shoulders and it was lifting. And thank the Lord Jesus, I'm not kidding you. See the contentment I've got in my life. And I've only been, what, not even a year, a Christian. And as I say, I've been the time. I've done it. I've seen it. I've done it. I'm 54 years of age. I'm 55. And I'm not joking you. It's the best thing I ever done was become a Christian. I thought, honest, any time my cousins or I come down the side for a cup of tea or anything, and they said to me, Alec, I said, don't preach me, boys. I said, come and have a cup of tea, a bit of bread. I said, but then he preached me. See now, see my Charlie, I've no opinion. I've a chance to size here. I'd follow it. I'd follow it. For an honest, I'd follow it to the government. And all I'm going to say, if anybody in here is not saved, be saved. Because it's the best thing you'll ever do in your life is, is go with the Lord Jesus. Because when you go up here, you walk out there, even here, he's here with his tonight in this tent and the long sages. And thank the Lord Jesus that he's here. And we've got him. And we'll keep him. Thank you. Sir.